morning everyone if you are new my name is janelle and i am a elementary pe teacher i like making teaching and lifestyle vlogs so if you're interested in that please don't forget to subscribe and like this video it is wednesday morning and i just felt like picking up the camera today i was gonna vlog yesterday and start that vlog yesterday but it was just it was just busy and I actually, Brandon and I actually met up with some friends from our hometown that we haven't seen in so long and it was nice to just like catch up and have dinner and we went to an Indian place and I can't wait to go home and eat leftovers. I'm braiding my hair because it can get really hot in the gym. So I usually like to put it in a braid or put it up. I'm gonna show you my outfit. As you can see, my top is University of Oregon half zip long sleeve. And then wearing my Lululemon Align leggings. Here is the fit. I'm making rice so I could have leftover Indian food. I got the chicken tikka masala and then Brandon got a curry. I don't know what kind of curry. And today was a pretty decent day. Thinking of one specific class where I had a couple students who were not following directions and I did have to write a referral. So if you don't know what a referral is, like a behavior form but other than that it went pretty good and I got a couple of compliments so one of my, one of the fourth grade classes they were writing compliments to whoever they wanted and a lot of them thought about me because they did this right after PE so right after PE they were writing compliments to whoever they wanted and a lot of these are so cute like this one it says i don't even know you can see it can you see it it says dear mrs molly you're really pretty and nice thank you for being our pe teacher how freaking cute is that and then another one it says here Mrs. Molly, you are so beautiful. Um, Mrs. Molly, you are so, so nice and fun. We love your games. Happy days. So freaking cute. The teacher gave me this and it just made my day reading this. Mrs. Molly, you are super nice. It's so funny because reading this, it says, one of them said, Mrs. Molly, Mrs. Molly is really nice. She is really patient. I don't know if she's being sarcastic. I don't know who wrote this, but two of them says she's really patient. I'm really patient. And for me, I, I guess I overthink and I criticize myself way too much. I don't know if you do that, but if you're a teacher, you're constantly like overthinking and criticizing yourself and reflecting what you can do better, what, you know, all those things. And to me, I feel like I think that I'm not patient. So that's why it's so funny to me when I read, like I read some of this and two of them said that I'm patient. It's nice that they think that way because to me, I feel like I'm not patient. And I feel like I, sometimes I feel like the Grinch sometimes in specific classes because they're just like, you know, some of them are talking over me and I just cannot. I guess they think I'm patient because when they do that, I'm just, I'm just like standing there waiting waiting patiently because one of my mentor when i student taught in pe she told me not to not try just don't talk over students just try not to talk over students it's better to just like be quiet and then other they will realize that they should not be talking and they're wasting time so i am whenever they're talking when they're not supposed to be talking i just stand there stare at them this is what brandon does too just watch and stare and be like 
you know, give them the teacher face or the parent look face, teacher look, and then they are quiet real quick. So I'm gonna put this in my PE teaching um, bin, which I have. Makes my day reading this and how some of them thought of me, like to compliment me out of whoever they wanted to compliment, which I think it's super, super sweet, which the highlight of my day. I wanna talk about what I am doing this week with my students. So this week I'm actually meeting my kinders or well, I actually met most of my kinders. If you watched my first week of school vlog, then you would know that um, I don't get kinders until the third week of school and this is the third week of school. Yeah, I met the kinders, kindergartners, and they're so adorable. They make my day, like I was a preschool teacher for a while and kindergartners always make my day. They're so cute. And it was nice seeing them and meeting them for the first time. Yeah, so with kindergartners, I just did the same thing with how I did my first week of school. We went over their dots, like their specific spots in the gym. They have a specific spot. We practice going over their spot and then we play a, a tagging game and that's about it it went by super fast you know went over some routines and went over some pe rules but i made it made sure it was quick and fast because the younger they are with kids their attention span is just 0.2 seconds i feel like so it was quick really fast with all that stuff and we played um we basically did one main game which is noodle tag but anyways, with my first grade to fifth graders, we talked about growth mindset and I do have a poster right over here. Uh, we talked about growth mindset, um, what it means to have a growth mindset, why it's important to have a growth mindset. After growth mindset, we played striker ball and I'm going to just insert a video right here of what striker ball is. And we played that and it was pretty good pretty fun now i'm going to show you my pe sub plans because someone did ask one of my youtube comments someone asked if i could show my sub plan so i'm going to show you really quick okay here's my sub planner or or sub plan sub binder and i actually don't have any lesson plans in here right now but i'll show you where i put my sub plans but this is the cover. I have my PE schedule that way, whoever is subbing for me, they know which grade they will be seeing and the times and then the lunch. I also have, I also have the school's like information. So I have the principal's phone number, the counselor, office staff, health assistant, the custodian, and then my PE routines and procedures. And then usually I have a lesson plan over here and that's basically it. Like just my schedule, important contact information. This is really important. Um, and then just like my routines and stuff. And then of course my lesson plan, but I only print it out when I need it. All right, so I have my sub plans in a specific folder in my Google Drive. And I have six sub plans and I edited them they i'm like so grateful for myself that i did this and i did this right before school year ended last school year so i'm so grateful that i did that so i don't have to think about it if i do need a sub i could quickly pick one of these and it'll be easy to go easy to print out okay here's an example of just one of my sub plans and this is just for k to five i'm 45 minute classes and I show you I show them or I put in the warm-up activity one activity two and I even have the video here that way if they are on their computer and um, they can look through the email they can click on it and see the video and but I have like really detailed instructions in here that way it makes sense I made sure it's just like easy for the sub k to five so this can apply to k to five that way they don't have to worry about equipment they don't have to worry so much. And I feel like it's just easier for the sub because I know for me, if I was a sub, if I was subbing for a PE class, I would want to make sure that it's, you know, easy to do. 
Um, I'm trying to make it easier for the sub so that they don't have to think about so many different activities for different grade levels. I just made it so all the grades can do it. And if you teach the same class over and over again, so if you're a secondary teacher, because I know this happens a lot, your first period, your first class of the day, like it will, it can be kind of rough because you're learning, you're reflecting, but by the end of the class, by the end of your last period, you're like an expert because you've been doing it. You've been doing the same thing, but you get better and better each time, or I hope you get better and better each time because you learn, you learn from what is better, what's best for the students, like timing and all that stuff. If you're a secondary teacher and you teach the same classes each period, then you get it. So I'm trying to just make it easier for um, subs who are subbing for me. And I do that anyways for my lesson plans. I try to make it easier for myself. So I have the same activities for most of the grades, but I could also cut it cut it to like K to one or K to two to or three to five or two to five. It really depends. You have to you have to know your students, your class. It really depends on the class as well. And obviously have some modifications and give some challenging skills or challenging activities as well um, so if you're doing activity if you're doing like some type of throwing um, make sure you can modify it to make it e either easy um, medium or um, ch more challenging so that way it can hit all students um, depending on their skills i think it's really good too if you have like a, um, emergency information like a map in there like fire drill map and stuff but with my school in each classroom it's mandatory that they have emergency protocols depending on each situation and they have it already in their classroom that's very visible so anyone can see so whoever's subbing they can easily know where it is it's like by the door and you can just grab it and see what you need to do if there's an earthquake or if you need to do or like an earthquake drill fire drill or lockdown drill all that stuff Pretty good day today. I am craving for bur burgers and fries, so I texted Brandon to get us toxic burgers. I don't even know if it's like a chain, like everywhere, or if it's only in Oregon, but toxic is a burger and wings place, and I really like their ranch burger, it's just so good, and their garlic fries. So yummy, I'm craving for that right now. Anyways, I wanna let you know, if you watched my PE teaching video like the first week of school, I mentioned this, this voice amplifier, the wireless voice amplifier, and I don't like it. It dies so fast. I feel like you need to charge it for like two days and then it'll work for at least most of the day. It died on me yesterday and it was very hard to, especially like in a gym, a big area, my voice isn't that loud. So it was, def it was definitely difficult to just use my voice and not a voice amplifier. So I, I don't like the, the wireless one. So I'm, I'm, I'm sticking to my, I'm sticking to my old one. So this is trash. I don't recommend. I don't like it. Anyways, I'm just hungry and I can't wait to eat. Hopefully Brandon read my text because I just texted him. Um, hopefully he's not coming home right now. Hopefully he is getting toxic burgers because I'm craving for it. Got my toxic burger. It has the meat, bacon, cheddar cheese, garlic fries. Oh my goodness, so yum. Wings. And then Brandon got his chicken sandwich and he got his two sauces. Don't know what kind of sauces they are, but mine is ranch and pesto ranch. So good. I'm so hungry. Can't wait to eat it. This looks so good. Garlic fries. You can never go wrong with garlic fries. Oh, the ball. Did you get it? No. 
address that you respect yourself and not like a football player pleading no contest to a DUI.